here's what's going on. I had an idea, and I'm going to talk about that idea. And it's not really an idea. It's not like brain crack. I just wanted to share this theory that I've had with um, everyone in the world. So that's why I'm going to talk about it. First thing that I wanted to talk about was the Halloween tag that I uploaded a few days ago. Yes, it was a few days ago. After I uploaded it, I realized, I realized that I actually lied in one of the questions, and that was the question about what is your favorite Halloween movie. And I said the Snoopy Halloween special one. And in actuality, my favorite Halloween movie is Monster House. I don't remember when it came out, but it was that, you know, about the house that was possessed or whatever, and it was super funny. So that is my actual favorite Halloween tag or Halloween movie. So. There you go. Now I've told you the truth and it set me free. Second thing that I wanted to talk about is the book Clockwork Angel. I don't have the book with me or else I would put it. I only brought a couple books with me and I didn't choose that one because of reasons. First I should probably say this is a very good book. If you haven't read it and you're watching this video, stop watching this video. Go read it. Come back. Maybe you don't even have to come back, just go read it and thank me later. And the next book is Clockwork Prince, and it is going to be very exciting to read when it comes out in December, and I'm looking forward to it. If you haven't read it, this talk is going to be very spoilery, and um, so you may want to skip ahead that. Yes, the connection that I made between this and another book is mostly connection about the end, so if you haven't gotten to the end of this book, skip ahead, go read it, go finish the book, whatever, because I don't want to ruin it for you. So this is the official spoiler tag. At the end of the book, you find out that the, I forget what they're called, the metal clockwork people need demon energies to become alive, right? So they can follow the bad guy. Um, and so they work on getting away into stealing the demon energies and from the shadow hunters and taking them away. And this reminded me of Spy Kids because Spy Kids won. And if you didn't watch those movies when they came out, you didn't have a childhood and why did you not see it? That had the best like taglines for five years after seeing that movie. I always said shiitake mushrooms. I mean, come on people. It was a good movie. Anyways, because in that movie they have the robot children and to make them smart robot children, they had to get the third brain. So the connection I'm drawing here is the third brain is the same as the demon energies for Clockwork Angel. And that is the connection that I made and I was very excited about it, but now that I've said it, it doesn't seem as cool or relevant, so, you know. Something that I need to say about the word angel, I always spell it angle. It's always angle. I always, no matter if it's in math and I want actually want an angle or if it's not math and I want an angel, it always comes out an angle. And so that makes me sad. Um, but yeah, so if you ignored what I said and I just spoiled some of the end of Clockwork Angel, I didn't spoil all of it because there is all of it. the plot thickens thicker. Cool. Actually, I'm ruining it all right now by saying that, but there's still there's still character development and questions at the end. So many questions, and the more I think about it, the more questions I have. This was me spoiling it. Bye.